In this lecture, we discuss the canonical form of Boolean expressions and describe how we construct them from sub-expressions called min-terms and max-terms. Let's begin by reviewing some terminology. When we have a variable by itself, or we combine two or more variables, or their complements, with only the AND operation, we call the group of variables product terms. Similarly, when we have a variable by itself, or we combine two or more variables, or their complements, with only the OR operation, we call the group of variables SUM terms. If we combine a set of product terms by ORing them together, we call the expression a SUM OF PRODUCTS expression. If we combine a set of SUM terms by ANDing them together, we call the expression a PRODUCT OF SUMS expression. There is a special class of product terms called MIN terms. A MIN term is a product term that is a truth table with exactly one one. Min term zeros one is located on or indexed by the row with the binary encoding for zero and is represented with the symbol lowercase m sub zero. Similarly, min term one's one is located on the row with the binary encoding for one and is represented with the symbol lowercase m sub one. We can similarly construct min terms two and three. Suppose now that we want to implement a function f which has inputs x and y. We can construct the expression for f by ORing min terms 1 and 3 together. Alternatively, we can write out the sum of products form of the expression, where x bar y corresponds to the 0, 1 row, and x y corresponds to the 1, 1 row. There is one other important thing to notice about min terms. A min term is defined by the number of variables in the expression and the ordering of those variables. For example, if we swapped the order of y and x in our truth table, we would change the ordering of the outputs and our min terms. f of yx would be the or of min terms 2 and 3, but it would still yield an equivalent Boolean expression. If we increase the number of variables, we also change which product term the min term represents. Max terms are a special class of sum terms that have truth tables with exactly one zero. Max term zeros zero is located on the row with the binary encoding for zero and is represented with the symbol capital M sub zero. We can implement our function f by ending max terms zero and two. Alternatively, we can write out the product of sums expression. Notice that x or y corresponds to max term 0, and that x bar or y corresponds to max term 2. Like min terms, the indexing of max terms depends on the number of variables and their ordering. If we construct a sum of products expressions from only min terms, we call it a canonical SOP expression. Similarly, if we construct a product of sums expression from only max terms, we call it a canonical POS expression. Let's suppose that you have a minimal SOP expression, and you want to convert it into a canonical SOP expression. To con make the conversion, we must reintroduce the missing B variable into the expression. We can reintroduce variables with three easy steps. First, we AND a 1 to the expression with the identity property. Second, we change the 1 into the missing variable ORD with its complement. Finally, we use the distributive property to create our min terms and our canonical expression.